I'm sorry, what did you ask me? Am I racist? Doesn't that question just take the Christ right out of Christmas? I'm not a racist person. I'm colorblind. Woke even. I mean, I have black friends. That's neither here nor there. I mean, this D-E-I-C-R-T nonsense. I mean, we're all the same. It's really more trouble than it's worth. You just don't know how hard it is to be a white woman in school these days. You don't know my struggle. I have been told I need to change my ways. At least that's what it said on my improvement plan. So I've decided to look at the bright side and make a list of resolutions for 2023. Turn over a new leaf, new year, new me kind of thing. Mostly so that I don't get fired, but also because I don't want to go viral on that face page again because that, that was awful. Resolution number one, I will not chase any of the black and brown educators out of town this year. There will be no witch hunts. Resolution number two, I will try. I said I will try not to cry, scream, or say the N-word at any of the school board meetings this year. I have two young white boys, one of which got in trouble for saying the N-word on Snapchat. We were threatened, and why? Because he said N I'm sorry, this happens to be in every song, the FCC, the John Connors, the, the who's who are in charge of this shit. Resolution number three, I will not encourage or participate in any of the library book bonfires, but that lewd and inappropriate material does make a nice accelerant for the pep rally bonfire. I'm just saying. Resolution number four, I will not encourage any of my parents to sue the school district when they force me to teach that nasty CRT curriculum. Number five, and this is a big one, there will be no more slave auctions in my classroom. Not a single one. You know, they say that participatory education, demonstrative education is the best kind, but not this time. All of a sudden, this lesson's a problem. Right out the window of that lesson. And resolution number six to go along with it, I am retiring my Native American headdress. They told me Native American is the term that I have to use when I refer to it now, but that's neither here nor there because I'm just gonna go ahead and take that home. I'm gonna save it for Halloween because we can't use that in the classroom anymore. Number seven, I will not. I I promise I will not touch the hair of any of my black students, even if I really, really want to. Resolution eight, I will not hit any of my students, even if I'm hangry. And piggybacking off of that, resolution number nine, I will not start fights with the students of other teachers in my hallway. And I definitely will not assault them with school district property. She about to lose her job. What the we do not want that to happen, so we are not doing that. Finally, the drum roll, resolution number 10. I will double and triple check that my Zoom is off before I say anything racist about any of my parents. These parents, that's what kind of pieces of shit they're black. He's black. They're black family. Your your son has learned to lie to everybody and make excuses. Are you to be entitled. Because you taught him to make excuses that nothing is his fault. This is what black people do. This is what black people do. White people do it too, but black people do it way more. That was science teacher Kimberly Newman back in January. We understand she resigned from the school a few days later. I am going to make sure that when I think I'm having a private conversation and I'm speaking my mind, that I am actually in private. And that is how I'm going to keep myself out of trouble in 2023. Happy holidays and a happy new year to you. Here's to a better 2023.